Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for being here, whether this is your first time, your second time, or you have seen all of my videos. I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. On today's video, we are going to be talking about the Labubu craze again. I just can't seem to get enough of it. But unfortunately for this video, I was sold a fake. And I do want to talk about that in just a little bit. But before we get on with that, I want to invite you to become a follower of my channel or subscribe to my channel. And I am giving you that invitation because it would be such an honor if you decided to join me on my journey. I am slowly growing this channel and it's so exciting to start creating this community where I have people that think so much like me. I absolutely love sharing my love of handbags with you and all of these little cute little things that um, are popping up, how I save for my handbags, what I do with the bags I don't use and all that good stuff. If you are interested in that kind of content, I would love it if you follow along. If you are here for my teacher content, I also invite you to watch that. So my channel is a little all over the place. There's a lot of parts to me and I would love it for you to follow along with whatever parts you enjoy. So in my teacher side, which is mostly my lives, I do do teacher content where I show you how to create activities to be used in your classroom. That is another one of my huge, huge passions. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I'll go ahead and link it up here. You can take a look at that uh, playlist and watch there. But anyway, let's get into the Labubu content. All right, so I fell hard <laughs> for Labubu. I've learned, I've just learned that Labubu is actually a girl. Labubu to me is a cute little creature, cute little monster, and I am obsessed. I have two Labubu charms that I've shown. I'll go ahead and I'll post a picture of them, but I have one from the Macaroons collection and then one uh, from the like sitting down collection, have a seat, I think that's what it's called. I have one of each. I recently learned that there is actually a Pop Mart at the mall that I shop at. So there is a mall fairly close by, the one that has Louis Vuitton and all of those high-end stores. And there is actually a Pop Mart there. So I was able to go there with my daughter and check it out. They had so many awesome things. That was actually a day where they had a bunch of new releases show up. So I was lucky enough to grab one of these that also keeps selling out while in person. And then um, I grabbed a couple of other things, but unfortunately, or fortunately for her, my daughter ended up keeping all of them. So this is the only thing I was able to keep. So I haven't opened her yet. She's adorable. She's the, she's the cheer up baby, but I can totally see myself using this awesome cutie uh, during Pride Month. So in the month of June, I'll definitely be whipping her out quite a bit, but I'll use her throughout the year as well. I think she is adorable. She is going to go in a lot of different bags uh, depending on the mood <laughs> um, that I'm feeling. I definitely have to be cheerful even though this is a cheer up baby. She's sad yet she's so cute and happy. I don't know at the same time. But anyway, why do I bring this one up? And this is because I wanted to do a comparison to the one that is clearly a fake and talk about what I'm going to do with that. I will put a big disclaimer here. I don't care what people do with their money. <laughs> I, I honestly don't. Um, I am not one to go and buy fakes, right? I wouldn't do that knowingly, but I am not one to judge. What you do with your money is up to you. I'm never gonna get into that uh, topic. It's not up for debate for me. It just is what it is. You do what makes you happy. I do what makes me happy. I do what keeps my mind at ease, and that is shopping authentic. That's what I do. Right. And I also have this clear rule where I will not pay overprice. This is in the same line. I understand why there is a market and why people pay above retail for certain things. I am just not one of those people. If I didn't catch something at the right time, it just was not meant to be. Will I buy things after that time if they are on uh, for sale? Absolutely, right? Like Dee Bean says, allergic to full price, totally for that. That to me makes a huge amount of sense, waiting until it goes down in price, right? But for things that go up in price, that is just not who I am. And that should have been my first giveaway when I saw this little cutie for sale on eBay for full price. So 
this was really, I mean, it just, I just got here, but it was before I really knew the craze. So I was talking uh, quite a bit. I've been talking with my friend Julia uh, from Things I Love. I'll link her channel below. She posts a lot of uh, videos of her daughter, uh, but she is actually one of the reasons why I got into handbags. Not one of the reasons why I got into, uh, into YouTube, but um, Julia and I were pregnant around the same time. And that's when I started really heavily going into social media, just kind of looking for friendships and people that had in like things in common with me in terms of the pregnancy. So there was, this was early on. I had had a miscarriage. Um, anyway, I don't really want to get into that, but, uh, that's how I met Julia. And then Julia had this huge passion for makeup, which I was also really into. I have since skin issues <laughs> have gone away from that but then she started introducing me to handbags through her channel so before I found all of the awesome ladies that I follow on YouTube I would watch um, or look at the pictures that Julia would post on her Instagram anyway Julia has always been a collector of all kinds of things uh, from pop figures to like Legos to all kinds of little fandom things so she's always been a collector and La Boo Boo doll started showing up for me through her. So that's how I started seeing them. She just had her cute, adorable little La Boo Boo that she was always dressing up or that she's been uh, dressing up with, with her handbags. Um, I remember a couple of years ago, well, not a, like a decade ago, <laughs> uh, she was really into the uh, Fendi Monster Charms and those were adorable. And also uh, the Burberry Bear Charms. So she she has a, a huge collection of charms. And as soon as I started seeing the Le Boo Boo, once I thought to myself, it was similar to the Fendi ones where they're like a thousand bucks and definitely not what I'm willing to pay. When I figured out it was actually kind of like a toy, I knew it was something I had to get on board. Little did I know that they go for a ton of money. They sell out super quick. I know there's an issue with bots, buying all the stock, all that good stuff. But because I have a close a store close by, I kind of get a little bit of, um, of an in because the store posts when they have things available and you can drive and I can drive there and I can try and pick some up. So they'll post right there and then as soon as they become available. So it's not like people could just like stand in line and go, which is actually pretty nice. So I do have an authentic La Boo Boo unboxing and more little things coming. Uh, that's not what this video is about. So I am digressing, but I just kind of wanted to give you like a big picture of like who I am and how I shop and how careful I am with things like this because this really was a shock. But that should have been my first giveaway that this item was actually full price. It was not at a discount, but it was not skyrocket high like what people are selling it for on the resale market. So people, these sold out super quick. So people are uh, selling it for quite a bit more than what they went for on sale. So I got it for regular price plus shipping, right? I was fine. I paid a little bit over retail in that case because I had to pay for shipping. But I do understand that, right? Shipping sometimes is up to the person. I was just excited to be able to find one at a at a good price. I really wanted it. Um, anyway, I purchased it. The eBay seller had over a thousand reviews, ninety seven percent positive reviews. All you know, the majority of them very current, and the seller didn't have anything like this on their store. So I think the way that I justified feeling a little iffy about the price was that maybe the seller had purchased these. He also didn't have, or she didn't have a bunch of them available. It was just a few. So I thought maybe he over purchased for, you know, himself or herself and then decided, you know, that they weren't going to use them. So put them up for sale for normal price, right? By the time I looked the next day, they were all gone. So I figured, wow, you know, she posted them, sold them super fast and I'm lucky to have gotten one. It did ship from China. It took a while to get here. And when it arrived yesterday, it actually just arrived yesterday, um, I opened it and I immediately knew it just wasn't real. And here's why. So when you look at this box, this is a nice sturdy box and it's so well packaged. It doesn't, you know, like if I shake this, she's not going anywhere. This is packaged so nicely. And this is how everything that I've gotten from Pop Mart is. It's quality, right? It's it's quality. They're not 
like dirt cheap, right? They're still like 20 bucks. So it's not, you're in, and this is a keychain. You're paying $20 for a keychain, uh, 20, 25. Some of them go up to 30. So the packaging is, the packaging is sustainable. It's substantial. It's nice. Um, and you know, you're paying for this. So when this arrived and the package is super flimsy, the plastic is not the same quality. It's clearly loose. You could, like it's not um, held together. This is backwards. The lid is 100% backwards. This lid here, right, that opens, is what holds this paper back. So if anything, this had clearly been opened. So, and, and I, again, the quality of the box, I know you can't feel through the screen, but it's definitely a very cheap plastic in comparison to this very stiff, nice, sturdy uh, box. The other thing, if you look closely, I haven't opened this, okay, but if you look closely, you can see right here that it is damaged. You can see that it's not sewn in, and you can also see that it's dirty. <laughs> and now, and then if you pay close att attention, you can see the little fingers are all messed up. I know that there's a way to count um, her teeth, and she's supposed to have a certain number of teeth. I'm not, I haven't gone that far into checking, but that was the first like, Ooh, uh, something is something in here is not right, uh, right? That but like then I decided to do the QR code, which is like your sure way of telling whether or not your item is authentic. So how does this QR code work? So if you look at the original, I have not scratched this off. So this is a scratch off. So you scratch it off and then it reveals a unique number. You scan the QR code, it asks you for that number, and when you put the number in, it tells you that your item is authentic. And the way that it tells you that, it's because you should be the first person that checks that code. If you are scratching it yourself, nobody else should have scanned it and put those four digits into the code. Okay, so when you scan the code, it has the first few digits already filled in, and you just put in the the last four, and you should be the first person doing that. Again, if I were to sell this, which I'm not, this is mine, but if I were to get rid of this, uh, somebody, whoever gets it, would scratch that off and would be able to see it. When I did it for this one, I scratched it off myself. You can see the digits there. Um, the last four digits are 7416. I'm just letting you know just in case uh, you get the same, 7416. When I scanned it, it does take me to the actual legitimate Popmars store for checking. But when I put in the last four digits, 7416, it gives me a big warning, letting me know that this code has been checked way too many times so that this item is likely inauthentic. It's actually not authentic. And when you get that code back, it's actually in, um, I believe it's Mandarin Chinese because that's what Google told me. So I took a screenshot and I put it through Google Translate and then I was able to see what the website was actually saying. And that's what it says. This code has reached its maximum limit. It has been scanned so many times that this is not an authentic product. So, right, somebody else had the same code I did and they don't do that. It's one code per la boo boo. Um, so yeah, so this one's not authentic immediately. Same day. I did this yesterday when I received it, I messaged the seller back and I told them that I would like to send it back, that this was not what I had paid for. I went through the listing again to see if there was like any, you know, like wink, wink, this is not real. Like, mm -mm, right. Like I wanted to see if there was anything alluding to it being, um, a replica and that I just missed it because if that would have been the case, I would have kept it right. If the person is disclosing it and I chose to buy it, that's on me, right? But I, they didn't. I thought I was buying an authentic product. So I checked the listing again. That, that wasn't the case. So I sent them a message and I told them, this is not what I paid for. I would like my money back. I get a nearly immediate response saying, we will offer you 40% back and you can keep the item. I said, no, I do not want 40% back. I would like to return the item for full money back. I do not want this item. I will not be using it. Uh, they replied back, uh, we will give you 70% off. We will give you 70 a 70% 70 refund. I responded again, no, thank you. I do not want 70%. I would like a full refund um, and I will send you the product back. 
They reply, we will give you 90%. And I responded back, no, I do not want 90%. I want my money back. I want to send this back to you. I do not want it. I want my money back because this is not what I purchased. Not at 10%, not at 80, not at anything. I did, this is not what I paid for. Um, so then finally they sent me back that, okay, they will give you my money back and that I can keep the product. I was like, okay, well, all of that for this. Um, so I am going to be keeping this. They are going to be giving my money back. I am not going to open it or touch it or anything until I receive my money back in case I need to report it to eBay. It's not that big of a deal. It's $30 after tax and everything, but it's just the principle that this is not what I paid for. Um, so if my money comes back, I'll end up giving this to my daughter to play with. She can put it on uh, her backpack or something, but it's definitely not something that's going to go on my handbags. Um, and when I went back into that, I noticed that the listing had actually been taken down by eBay and it says this listing was removed due to violations to eBay policy. So I know that for a fact, this seller must have been uh, somehow flagged. So if I probably, if I return it or if I actually go to eBay and uh, request the money back because they're not giving it to me, that they're uh, that they're, they might get shut down um, because they probably got quite a few uh, dings to their account depending on how many they had for sale. So that that's as much as I know. I will wait for my money back and then uh, see where it goes from there, but I don't intend to keep it. I am kind of bummed because I did want the Halloween edition, uh, but it is what it is, right? It's not for me. <laughs> I'm not going to pay above retail. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Uh, so it is what it is. But I do have a large, really large uh, unboxing. I'm talking at least 12, 13 items coming from Pop Mart. I went a little overboard. Um, I am going to be giving some of them away uh, to candy and things like that. Um, but I do have a couple specific ones that I want. I got a couple uh, of La Boo Boo's. I got some from the Powerpuff Girls that I'm going to be giving to my daughter and trading with Amy. Uh, so I do have quite a, a large um, unboxing to do and I'm super, super excited. Excited. Um, I can't wait to do that. I hope that you consider subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content. Uh, go ahead, leave me a like, keep the conversation going in the comments. I love interacting with you all and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Bye!